Good enough. Thank you. Like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Welcome back to your channel. I am going to work on the grapevines today. And what we're gonna do is I've got some evergreen potting soil. It's the cheapest thing I could get from Rural King. It's like two, two dollars. And then I got some black cow and we have mixed it up here in this barrel. And as you can see, it's really good soil, good and moist. And Chris has went ahead and put two more wicking barrels together for me. One on each side of the greenhouse. And the goal is we're gonna, I have him centered so that he can build me a trellis going up each side and meeting in the middle. So today I am going to start filling the, the wicking barrels and they do have water in them. Chris just put these together so they're not all the way but I am going to start filling them and plant the grapes. So let me get started with that. While well, she's filling that, and I'll show you what she's doing. Right here, if you see right here, this is the sock we got to put on there. And the, this is basically the wick here, like a kerosene wick. You put the soil down in there, and you can see, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's water down in there in the barrel. Put the soil in there and it causes a wicking effect to keep, you know, for the soil to stay moist. Then you'll fill the you'll fill the barrel up so far with soil, but you pack that with soil first, put it in there and kind of pack it. And he did do a video of making them, yeah. Making the barrels. We kind of hold this in place until I get We can put a link to how we make them on down in the description. And yes, I am using the baby's shovel. <laughs> or the baby's shovels. Okay, these are the green seedless grapes. Non-GMO. Yeah. I am gonna take the green one and get it started. Okay, I am doing the other side of the bucket. We did the green grapes and now we're doing the purple or red or whatever color people call them. So I'm just filling the dirt in like I did the other side. I'm, gonna, I'm taking some of my soil, guys, and I'm putting it in one of my clay pots. I have my aloe plant in here, and I think it's getting a little too big for this pot. So I want to plant them in a, a bigger pot so it'll grow bigger. Okay, right, guys, these are the seedless red grapes, and they are also non-GMO seedless. And I'm going to plant these on the other side. That one even look alive. Yeah, I looked at it real good. There's like one little green bud on it on this other side right here. Okay. That's good. Okay. And that will be our grapevines. Okay, guys, this is my potting table that Chris and I have made and 
this will be the first time I'm using it. I'm going to, I took some of the old, the leftover soil. I'm going to dig it up and I am going to take this aloe plant out and replant it. So, let me dig a hole, basically. This out of here. Into here, so that it will do a little better. Actually, I should put it a little more towards the center, shouldn't I? Let's see. There. Does that look center? Yeah, that's better. doing a video on building the greenhouse but I'm just going to kind of go over what we're doing and we do have a self watering irrigation system coming and basically what it'll do is it has 30 30, yeah. 30 wicking stuff and one will go in each of these and water them like when we're not here we'll set it on a timer for when we want it to be done okay the buckets like what I showed you on this side there's seven over here there'll be two here There'll be two here, and then there'll be seven more here. And then down in the bottom, I'm gonna do like dill and maybe parsley or some type of um, something in the bottom. And this side will be sunnier than this side. So over here, I'll do like lettuce and things like that that take a little less sun than what the rest of them do. We're still gonna build the frame for that one like that one that's the one we used for the chicken water at one time and it works perfect right in there for her to put her like greens and stuff in and i've been mixing all my soils at yeah mixing the dirt up in there dirt too. up in it right now yeah. and show them how the if you had five more buckets how that'll look it'll come down like, like that that one's there have that one there yep yeah. drop down a little but we won't we'll only do the five if we do another row of buckets that'll only be on this side and on that side, because I'm leaving all this area back here for her to do, like, you know, do her thing back in here. She can set plants in the middle if she wants, whatever she wants to do, but those right there is for like greens and stuff, whatever she's gonna put Well, I've got like the hanging strawberries and things yeah. like that I can do up here too. Yeah, up here I'm, I'm putting boards across here so she can hang stuff. And then I'm gonna put a board across here, right on top of the buckets, you know, to put trellises to, try, to tie the tie them up tie like tomato plants stuff like that up but if you haven't done so yet will you please hit that like and subscribe button if you want to follow us up here on the mountain thank you have a blessed day good job I'm watching Skype. There you go. Good job.